question have we seen this formula before liquid rosso is definitely more than a liquid lipstick it is in fact a lip and a blush blur liquid matte color with lasting high comfort and I'm gonna be very honest with you. I have already tried it yesterday as soon as they came. I didn't have the time to actually record a video, edit a video, nothing of that. So I said, you know, <laughs> let's leave it for the weekend. And in fact, today it is National Lipstick Day. So happy National Lipstick Day. You know, my friends, how much I love lipsticks. It's one of my favorite things in makeup is lipsticks yeah lipsticks is my thing but anyhow my friends i went ahead and pick up six different shades and there are many shades available i will be leaving the details where to find them the link everything will be on the description box below in addition i will place it on a pink comment because i have heard from some of you that the new system of youtube although you can actually shop through the view products on this side right here it seems like it's kind of like interfering a little to open that description box. So again, I will just copy and paste the description box below on a pink comment. Okay, my friends, let's go ahead and get us started. These liquid rosas, they are made in France. They do have a shelf life of 24 months, which is pretty generous. The packaging is very beautiful. I really love that they change it for the nude shade up here i don't know i just feel it's a little bit more it looks more classy even if they decided to go with black i i think it i know valentino is known for the red but uh, i don't know i just feel like this color is a lot better it resembles a lot the same packaging of the concealer not glass but actually heavy acrylic the shade that i got right here is into the nude 110a and if you're new here to my channel, welcome. I do film in natural light and with a 4K camera. So make sure you have your resolution correct 4K if you are watching on your iPad, iPhone, computer, whichever device you're using. Okay, let's go first with this shade. Let's go directly on the lips. Okay. The formula is super thin. Extremely, extremely thin. And the dog food applicator is very nice. It's kind of interesting because it's not, I mean, it's pointy, but it's very interesting. <laughs> very different from what I have seen before. And you can tell that because the applicator is a little bit different, it's not fully a sponge. It doesn't carry a ton of product. And I feel that they did it actually in purpose because this product you are able to use it on your cheeks and on your lips so you can build up on the formula the consistency is super thin definitely is blurring and i don't even feel that you need a lip pencil i know call me crazy but you know me here i don't use lip pencils for everything I'm gonna apply a second time now what I noticed when I was using it yesterday is that although it doesn't leave a stain it also is very long lasting it's not that it's completely transfer proof if you go throughout your day you are not gonna need to reapply now I'm gonna use this same shade and just directly apply it on your on my cheeks and on the reach on my nose and with a Chanel 109 brush and just going to spread it and it looks so so natural I do have enlarged pores fine lines um I do have you know signs of aging <laughs> the normal thing now let me just build it up a little to me this shade definitely it's you know a very much what I will call a pillow top kind of shade like that dusty not true mauve but dusty pink very neutral mm, it's so beautiful the next shade 115 after club and there you go another nudie tone so let me show you the first one that i swatched against this one so 
let's swatch it because this leans more pink while this other one it's more even more nudie and it seems like perhaps even has not a true peach undertone but a little bit more of peach in it as 115R. Uh huh. Yeah, this is a true nude tone. Honestly, this one you can wear it all along, depending on how pigmented you have your lips. I don't feel the necessity of a lip liner again. And it's that type of formula that is very you know, feather-like. That feather cell, I'm not saying that, you know, it feathers in a way that is gonna go into the little lines around your lips, but actually that is very forgiving, very natural. So here we go, this is 115. Okay, 109R, catch me if you can. And uh, let me show you in order of how I <laughs> actually swatch them. So the first set I swatch is here. This was the second one, and this is the one that I want to swatch right now. If you're wondering what is the difference between them, right? Let's just swatch it now. Is this one to me looks oh yeah, definitely this one is more of like um mo nur mauve. It does have more coolness to it. Yeah, it's it's cooler in tone. I'm sure you can see that. Mm -hmm. This is more cool in tone. Also a nude shade, but cool tone. Now, it's not going to make your lips look corpse-like. No, nothing of that. Very cloudy. I really like this formula. 302 R pink is punk. <laughs> Barbie pink. It's all Barbie now right now, and I'm sure a lot of people may have, like myself, <laughs> fallen into it. But let's go ahead and swatch it. And honestly, I mean like here on the tube, it doesn't look like you know, like my nails, like a very fuchsia pink. It's it's pink, but I feel that it has perhaps even a little bit more of magenta, like a light magenta undertone. Pinky Spunk. <laughs> I like the name. I really like the name. Okay, I want you to see that. You see how you can use very little amount and just create kind of like a little wash of color? You don't have to go full on. That's the beauty of this formula. And the applicator, because it doesn't carry like way too much product. And then I'm gonna build it up. Looking very, very pretty. You know, unexpected because honestly, I doubt it in getting this specific shade. I, I thought first, you know what, a hot pink, I'm not a person that uses a hot pink. Uh, but then when I saw it in person, I'm like, oh, this is has a little bit of magenta tone. And after trying the formula yesterday, I felt like, okay, this is... This is really nice. This shade is very beautiful and I love that I can build up on the pigment according to my entire makeup look. I want to bring to your attention that there's a lot of different websites that they are having special offers for lipsticks. So whatever I'm able to find, 
it will be in the description box below too and if you're not subscribed to my channel just yet go ahead and subscribe because on my community tab i let you know whenever not only there's a new release a back in stock alert but also when there is a sale so that's very important and otherwise if you're on instagram come and follow me there on my instagram and also if you're on tiktok come and follow me there but there you have it my friends this is pink is a punk Four hundred eighty-eight a chao rosso, and you know what? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of like a orangey tone. Oh yeah, this is so beautiful, so pretty. You know, and this shade in particular goes really well summertime with a really nice tan. Fall to it's a very camaleone kind of shade. Again, if you just want a little wash, there you have it. And now I'm gonna build it. Here you have it. Ciao Rosso. The last shade 22 a Rosso Valentino. This is a gorgeous tone of red has that kind of raspberry undertone. A little bit of that blue in it. Okay, to me red is red and red is supposed to be used as red, but say if you want something like a, kind of like a popsicle kind of lips, you can create that with this kind of formula. See right there is one full on swipe. Seal it up a little more. And I don't know if you're able to see, but it doesn't create harsh lines. Do you see that? I think that's so important too. And here we go. Rosso Valentino. Biggest question, have we seen this formula before? I think in a way, yes, in a way, no. Let me tell you why. I think the luxury brands are bringing new formulations that are very different from what we have seen before. These are definitely not your typical liquid matte lipsticks that they are drying, but rather very hydrating, not truly really moisturizing in terms of like feeling, you know, so, um, so creamy, too creamy, but they are very forgiving. They look very natural. Now, what it marks the difference for this Valentino Liquid Rosso Lipstick Blush formula, it is the pigment, how manageable it is. So I think these are gonna be fantastic and a go-to for many makeup parties because not only you can use it as blush, which is something very old. I mean, like who hasn't used a lipstick as a blush right but in terms of this matte formula that is liquid i think it has is that chameleonic that the pigment is kind of sheer but the shade is actually very even even when you go the lighter route and you want to create that cloud like popsicle kind of look that has been in trend for years in japan for example it's bringing us that and even more because you can build an up pigmentation meaning that you can do the same thing on your cheeks without being afraid to overdo the product also although it doesn't claim to be transfer proof in a way it is transfer proof like i said yesterday i was using the first shade that I swatched basically, this one right here. And I was able to drink, eat a meal. It didn't completely remove, but it looks super nice. It didn't let me a stain either on my lips, but it just stained really nicely. Now, in terms of what formulas it reminds me of, I think the first one that introduces to this kind of very hydrating comfortable kind of matte lipsticks was gucci so it reminds me to this one now this one to me is just a little bit more uh, 
what should I say, liquidy. You just have some more liquidy aspect, but in terms of how it, it is the finish, it reminds me to this. But again, it's more versatile, the one from Valentino, because you can go from very light, light pigment to more and more and more. It doesn't give you the full opacity and payoff right away, but it gives you that even kind of finish in terms of a shade. Now, in terms of like the comfort and texture, it reminds me a lot to the one from Tom Ford. Now, in terms of longevity, I think Tom Ford is maybe more long wearing than the one from Valentino, but it's very similar in terms of that comfort that you really, after applying it, you don't feel it. It's, there's not a weight to it and it's non-drying and it's, again, very long lasting. Now, if you're wondering, well, Charlotte Tilbury just came out not too long ago with these airbrush blur uh, liquid lipsticks, which I have reviewed them. I have swatches of all the different shades too. Well, this is way different. To me, these ones have a lot of pigment. Yes, you can just put a little dot in the middle and tap it and create that look, but it is different than the ones from Valentino because the ones from Valentino, they don't carry so much product that you, with one swipe, you can create that without having to, you know, being careful with the application. Also, the ones from Charlotte Tilbury are very moisturizing. They are very long wearing and actually transfer proof, but definitely Valentino is way lighter, um, yet not compromising that hydration and moisture on your lips without being too much. Um, another one that just launched also this year are the ones by Clay Depot. And I feel that ones from Clay Depot, they have way more pigment. That feeling of them, they are lightweight, they are hydrating. So in terms of the feeling, how it feels on your lips, the comfort, yes, they are light, but I feel that the ones from Clay Depot, they carry a lot more pigment and perhaps they feel not heavy, but heavier than the ones from Valentino. So I think those are my main comparisons. If anything, you will find them more I like to the ones from Tom Ford, but with that kind of sheer effect, very different. I think if, if in terms of like comparing it from one luxury brand to another different brand, I think regardless, Valentino is bringing something different to the table with a new technology, a new type of formulation that we have not seen before, but we have in a way, hopefully it makes sense. To me, a total winner if you, I really also love the shade selections because you have from pinky nude to peachy nude to your typical kind of pillow top kind of shade. Um, you have your pink tones, your red tones. I think there is a gorgeous brown shade too that that will be incredible as we approach fall and winter time. But I think the shade offering too, it makes it a huge plus. Okay, my friends, and now I would love to hear from you have you picked up any of these new liquid rosso valentino liquid lipstick blush oh by the way and in terms of the blush because they are so long lasting and they are blurring and is buildable too they just give a beautiful finish they are not your typical matte that they look very flat and unflattering but rather they give a very natural look and healthy and thinner too, which is really beautiful. And um, yeah, they create this kind of like blur-like effect. If anything, if you compare it to the powder formulation of the Gucci blushes, mm, that's kind of the finish that you will get with these liquid matte lipsticks that they are not truly, truly matte. Okay, my friends, and I think this makes it for this video. Let me know, are you planning to pick up or perhaps you have already picked up any of these new Valentino Liquid Rosso liquid lipstick slash blushes? Which of these shades is the one that attracts you the most? Which of these shades you think it looks the best on me? And are you ready to add some to cart? Let's just continue that conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it would be incredible if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye!